It rained so hard on the way home. It just literally opened up. I am so drenched, hey. So drenched. It's gonna rain again. This week marks a very special week for us here in Sydney because after 15 weeks of lockdown, we've been able to venture out further than five kilometers in a straight line. And with the majority of the roads that I ride over 20 kilometers away, this week couldn't have come quick enough. There's only one problem though. Since Monday the 11th of October, Freedom Day as we're calling it, it has done nothing but rain and cold rain too. I mean, pre the 11th of October, we were hitting temperatures of up to 30 degrees Celsius. Sun baking on the balcony, enjoying life. Now the lockdown's over. Now it decides to rain. And the forecast is even more rain for the week to come. I can't handle it. Something has to be done. I need to get the hell out of here. So today, regardless of how wet it gets, we're going for a ride to one of my favorite roads about an hour south of here. And we're going to put to the test the gear that I have to keep me dry and warm on this horrible, miserable day. It's pretty funny, it was only last week that I mentioned how UK always has horrible weather. Like, you know, you guys in the UK always with that miserable rain. <laughs> this is karma. This is definitely karma. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what I'll be wearing to keep me dry and warm on this ride. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. This video is sponsored by Akin Moto. Akin Moto is a small motorcycle clothing brand that has created riding gear that looks and feels like normal streetwear. There's nothing worse than getting off your bike to stroll the streets or to hang with your mates for a few hours and feel like you're wearing a suit of armor. These guys make you look and feel like you're wearing a normal pair of jeans, shirt, hoodie, or jacket. The only difference is you dress for the ride and the slide. I personally have been wearing Akin Moto gear for the last two or so years. And for anyone that's never heard of Akin, I always describe them as simple, minimal, functional, with attention to detail and great, great customer service. If you're in the market for new riding gear that won't break the bank, then definitely check these guys out. Go say hi, follow them on Instagram, they'll be stoked to have you. They are seriously the best. Anyone that's come across a kin that wears a kin knows what I'm talking about. For my pants, I'll be wearing the kin stealth jeans. They look and feel like any other jeans, except way more comfortable. They stretch and flex where you need them to, all over. They're Kevlar lined and have knee and hip armor pockets. You wouldn't even know that they're actual riding pants. Over the top of these bad boys, I'll be wearing a cheap set of RJ rain pants that cost me like 40 bucks. For my feet, I'll be rocking the former boulder boots. I'm not actually sure if these things are waterproof. I guess we'll find out. For my hands, I'll be wearing the Racer 1927 Zef WDS lightweight winter gloves. I really like these. They're really nice and comfortable. Heaps fleecy, nice and warm. For my top, I'm just going to be wearing a single layer. Just this thing. It's just a long sleeve shirt, t-shirt. I don't know. Is it called a t-shirt if it's not a t? From a Teespring store though. Check it out. Check it out. Over this, I'll be wearing a heated jacket. And finally, over this, I'll be wearing a Kinmoto's new Alpha 3.0 riding jacket. They sent this thing out to me a few weeks ago now, but I haven't had the opportunity to test it out. But it's absolutely kitted out. Apparently, it's suited for this kind of riding. We're going to take a closer look at the functions of the jacket after riding it for a few hours in the pouring rain and see if this thing is actually up to the task. Ah, uh, yes. And I've also got this crazy shield for my helmet because I know that goggles just won't cut it. I've never used this before, but let's see how it goes. Although we're only on the freeway, the feeling of freedom came flooding in. I was so damn excited for this. This is the first time in three months, man. Isn't that insane? I'm actually, I'm genuinely excited. Like, I just can't believe I already feel so much better. And weird. I feel strange, which is strange to say. Yesterday I went to the shops for the first time and it was the second day that the shops have been open. And having like the idea of having a passport, your vaccine passport, it's a weird time and everything felt fresh. All the staff members didn't know what they were doing. They were confused at. They didn't know where everything was. So weird. Oh, this is so sick. This is just the freeway. I haven't even done anything yet. I'm already so excited. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoa, it's expensive. What the heck? 
tell you what I forgot to do is put damn Wainex Wain on my visor. Oh crap, I'm all hooked up. A dollar ninety-nine? What? So what's crazy is that during this lockdown I went through two tanks of fuel. And that was purely just riding around my five kilometer area. But that was only 350k's of riding in my 5k area. What the hell? I mainly just rode around the airport like every day. <laughs> Isn't that nuts though? It feels so good to come out even just this far. Holy crap. And all my gear feels fantastic. I don't even feel like I'm wet. I have to check sometimes. Well, my visor says it all. I forgot to put Rain-X on so I can't see crap. Oh man, it's coming down. It is coming down. Brakes are wet. We're gonna take it nice and easy. But it is coming down, man. Visibility, not great. Scanning the road for debris. Gear check though, everything's holding up. I can feel the coldness through everything, obviously. The wind and the, and the water just cooling everything right down. It's a cool day today as well. I'm especially feeling it on my, on my thighs. I think, I think there's water puddling up. I got the heated grips on high, that definitely helps. Jacket's still on low, and it's doing it, good. It's doing it for me. It feels fantastic, especially around the neck. It's nice and warm. The can jacket, blocking off all the wind, holding back all the water. There's no wind riding up my sleeves. The tops of my hands are a bit cold. My knees are a bit cold, and my toes are the coldest. But that's cool. Heated grips are an absolute game changer for winter riding and the wet. Now look, I'm no pansy. Oh, I might be a little bit of a pansy, but heated jackets are even more of a game changer than heated grips. Not only does it keep you warm, but it also keeps you from tensing up while you're riding, preventing you from having an accident. And they're relatively cheap as well. Damn, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. That smell of like, of just nature, the dense, oh, so good. I'd lay it on my balcony and I'd just think about this moment. I, I just imagined it and that's what got me through. Riding, this saves your life, it really does. To know that I can do this now in any kind of, any kind of conditions is amazing. Like this is sick. I'm enjoying this so much. You have no idea. Actually, I feel like the I feel like my toes are actually getting a bit damp. I'm not sure how waterproof these boots are. I'm drenched on the outside. On the inside, I'm fine. Apart from my boots, I feel like my toes are a little bit wet. I can't even change the battery over on my GoPro because that just got wet then. We just had a mad little downpour and everything's just wet. And I don't want to screw it up. So, this, this is it. This is, this is the experience, hey? Riding in the rain. It's doable. Totally doable with the right gear. But uh, I think it's time to go home. It's time to go home. Okay. That escalated quickly. So on the way home, riding back with that damn face shield on, I don't know why. I don't know why I chose that. I've got so many closed face helmets here and I don't know why I went there. I had to try it out, I guess, but I didn't even think that this would happen. So because I was riding in the rain the whole time, freezing cold, as soon as I entered the tunnel, the tunnel was heaps hot. Within a second, the whole thing just went fogged up, man. Oh my goodness, I panicked. I literally panicked. My heart stopped. I was behind a semi-trailer. His, his tail lights just went completely out. I couldn't see anything. Zero visibility. Ripped that thing off. 
and then I was just holding it in the in the tunnel. Couldn't change gears. Couldn't do anything. I'm not going to do that again. That was horrible. I even used a defogger mister spray stuff and that didn't do anything. Do not recommend using a face shield in the rain for that reason. And also while I was down there, it started raining so hard. My, where is it? Oh, it's outside drying. <laughs> like my bag started filling up with water. There was like a little tiny puddle of water under uh, in the bag. And I had my M50 in there, my Canon M50. Lucky that wasn't a little plastic bag as well because I wasn't too sure if that um, little pack was going to hold up. I was too afraid to pull the media mod apart, change the battery over, put a new battery in because everything was just, everything was wet. Everything was drenched. So I just packed up and I beelined it straight back home and it just, oh, I wish I could show you footage, but it just poured. It, zero visibility, but I had fun. That's the main thing and I'm safe, I'm here. Okay, let's check out my gear and see how it all held up in the rain. As it turns out, the gloves are weatherproof not waterproof. I do really like these gloves. They keep your hands warm and block out the wind, just not so much the water. Not waterproof. The former boulder boots was so disappointing. I was under the impression that they were waterproof. Well, they're not. I guess that was my fault for assuming they were. I fully went on the website when I got back just to make sure because if they were waterproof, oh, they would have gotten an email, but they're not. So it's my own fault. And my stealth jeans were slightly damp all over. Could have been a combination of condensation caused by the rain pants and my toasty legs or the rain pants seep a little water all around. I feel like it was just because the rain was cold and wet and the pants don't breathe, obviously, because they're protecting you from all the water. The Alpha 3.0 jacket. Oh my goodness. It kept me absolutely bone dry. Not an inkling of water made it through any of the seams or the joints. I've never come across a jacket that is this suited for wet weather riding. I've even got one of those rain jacket things that you, you know, you chuck over your riding jacket and that always leaks. That still leaks. I've never come across one that just does not leak at all. The hoodie had a little puddle of water in there, but you can completely remove that. You can just unzip it and, you know, chuck it in your bag. Put it on when you get off the bike. Keep your head warm. The new waterproof Humax membrane definitely did its job at blocking the wind and keeping me dry. The removable thermo lining locked in my body heat without letting it escape. No leaks through the premium YKK AquaGuard waterproof zippers or the two waterproof pockets. The wrist gaiters? Is it called gaiters? Gaiters or garters? <laughs> <laughs> they worked incredibly. I've been hanging for a jacket that has these on them because I like to wear short motorcycle gloves. I don't like big bulky ones that go all over the sleeve. I like short ones, but with that comes a cost. When you're riding, wind just goes vunk and cold wind, you know, it gets right up there, just makes you cold and chilly. Wrist gaiters, garters, whatever. Slide your hand in, hooks it all up, and it just it just keeps your arms nice and warm. No wind goes up your sleeve. Guys, if you're in need of a new riding jacket this winter that doubles up as a raincoat, a hiking jacket, a damn stylish accessory, then do not hesitate and grab yourself one of these bad boys. They are only 330 Australian dollars. That's it. You know you're getting your money's worth and you've seen it firsthand here. This thing is incredible. Thanks so much for tagging along, guys. I'm Rob Hamilton. Ride safe. And now the damn sun comes out. Are you serious? Hello, sun. You're coming for a little bit. He's coming for a little bit. Hello. It's gonna go soon for sure.